What is going on, Drive2 crew? Bramley here with a brand new drawing tutorial. This time we are doing Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants. We are, of course, continuing our SpongeBob SquarePants drawing tutorials uh, this whole week. So definitely uh, stay tuned because there will be a couple more after this. And uh, let's get started with Mr. Krabs. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is his body. And we're going to start by drawing this triangular shape like this. And what I'm doing is I'm making the bottom so that it's tilted slanted like this. Okay. And I'm, as I'm doing the triangle, I am rounding off the sides. So just try to create this shape right here. Um, if I were to describe it, it looks like, um, like a, guitar, a guitar pick. Yeah, that's probably the best way to describe it. But here we go. This is our shape right there. Okay. So there's our uh, initial shape. Now, you want to get this as best as you can. So, you know, you can pause the video and take your time, uh, but remember to draw the lines lightly. Okay, now I'm going to draw the collar that goes across and this divides uh, his face with his body. Okay, another line going across from here to here is going to be his belt. So that separates the shirt and the pants. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the pants uh, are, is the largest size. So you want this one to be wider than this, uh, the shirt. Okay. There we go. Now let's, uh, zoom in on the picture and let's work on the, um, eyes. And this one starts right here. And what you want to do is you want to draw these long, tall eyes. And they're about as long as the body is, uh, the body is tall maybe slightly less, but what I want to do is I want to find where I want to cut it off. And that's a good uh, spot right there. And the way I want to do it is I want to do it with a bit of a curve going this way. Okay. And it gets wider as you go up, round that off at the top like that. And it's narrower as you go down. So it kind of looks like a, uh, a crooked baseball bat. This one goes into the face. So make sure you do that. And then there's like this hole where it comes out of like so. Okay. Now over here, these are going to be his pinchers and I'm going to create these ovals and they're going to look like this. So they're, they're like egg shapes. One there, the other one is going to be over here. You see how it sort of crosses the line, the belt line, and then draw it coming out this way. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw the leg like so. And this one is going to be like this. So it's going to be shorter and it's pointing away from each other. There we have it. Okay. Now I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw this shape, this triangular shape. And I'm going to shape that into arms that go into the body. Okay. Same thing over here. So find the shirt kind of the top of the shirt and then it goes to there. Okay, there you go. Rounded off elbows there. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so we've got the basic shape. We're gonna zoom in and work on the details, but first let's cut to commercial right now. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right, guys, I've zoomed in on the facial area here and I'm going to start off by working on the eyes and I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw one, two, three, uh, three strands for the eyelashes. One, two, three, and they kind of look like, I don't know, chicken feet. <laughs> so 
So that's what it looks like and they are perched up at the top here. Okay, and then about a little bit lower than half, and draw two lines like this, and then like that. Okay, so I've basically created these the eyelid kind of halfway going down. And I'm just going to darken this line and this line. Okay, underneath is going to be an oval like this, and another oval about the same size on the other side. And then just bring this down. And there we have the eyes. Mr. Krabs' eyes. Now let's work on the mouth and this little thing right here little lightning kind of mustache thing, antenna, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's draw that line there. We'll work on that a little bit later. Find a spot right about here. Actually, a little bit lower. There you go. There's, there's a spot. And then find another spot right here, kind of where the edge is. You want to draw a nice curve like this. Okay, go back down here, find another spot right around here. And what you want to do is you want to connect this dot to the curve. And then this goes a little lower and it makes its way up to there and then sort of makes its way up like this. And connect it to the curve as well. Okay, up here, start over here. You want to create a, a line from here going down to about here. kind of mirroring the inner curve and erase that line there. You want to create these zigzags. Okay, so here, you know how crabs have like sharp corners. So there's that sharp part of Mr. Krabs' back, but the front is going to be a little smoother. And then right here, we're going to draw one, two, three, four. Okay, so Four zigzags and then draw a line going down. One, two, three, like that. Okay, and then just close that off. And there we have Mr. Krabs's whatever this is. Now let's draw the teeth line like so. Find a spot over here. Bring this to that. And then one, two, three lines for individual teeth there. And then coming up here, line like that. And then just follow along like that. And then one, two, three teeth. Cool. Torso time. Let's start over here by drawing the sleeves. So you start here, and when you come out, go a bit wider. And it gets rounded off like this. And then this one, you draw a little C like that. There you go. And on the other side, you do something similar where you draw rounded off line and then two lines going into the shirt getting narrower as you go closer to the shirt there okay now let's kind of figure out where the center of it is going to go so here's the center of the shirt going towards there so there's the center and draw a V from about here there you go and then an undershirt is showing. I'm gonna draw a line there, lower than this line here, and this line here. Okay, another triangle here for the collar. Another line from here going down. So you notice that this triangle is higher 
then this one, this one goes down a lot lower. Okay, and this one and this one, you want them to be about the same. And there you go. There's the shirt. I'm going to turn this so that it's easier for my wrist. And I like to uh, do that so that, you know, you're not drawing at a very awkward angle. So you wanna, you know, take, turn your paper as well. A lot of people ask, why don't, why don't I um, tape my paper onto my drawing table here? Uh, I actually have it attached to a piece of board so that I don't accidentally crumple it or, or anything. Anyway, so there's that. I'm going to draw a curve here and then follow along again. So draw two lines right there. Let's work on the belt. Draw another line from here going across like that. So this is wider than the top. Let's draw a triangle like that. I'm going to draw two curved lines like this. I'm going to draw a black triangle shaded in. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to draw a bigger triangle that sort of borders that. Okay, so I'm starting off there, rounding off the corners, and then there you go. So there you've got the buckle. There's a belt loop right around here. So I'm rounding off the corners like this. And now you can shade that in, shade this in, shade this in. And there you've got a belt. Okay, here's the little zipper area. Before we do that, um, let's take a look at the way that things are uh, happening here on the edge. You want to make it so that the belt is kind of tightening up on and pushing in on the fat on the belly here. So smooth line and then there's like this break right here. So it looks like it's, you know, squeezing in the tummy. There you go. Just try to get that right. And then let's draw this part right here. Okay, find a spot right there. This goes up like so, and find the same spot over here. And then just draw a curve like this. And then another line inside. There we go. Cut the foot in half with a rounded line. Connect that line to the pants. And there you go. Same thing over here. Goes up, this goes up, and this goes towards the hand. Here we go. The last thing are the hands or the pinchers. And this isn't too hard. Okay, remember to round off your elbows. So that's done. Okay, find a point right around here. Okay, so find this point. Go down a little bit and now about four waves long and then short going down and then go up long short down okay now round off this part of the claw pinchers hands whatever you want to call it Okay, so it looks like that. Now over here, find the second little peak and then just draw a line from here to there. And that's it. Go on the other side, we do something similar. Okay, so find a spot right here. Something like that. Again, you guys, if you want to take a look at the reference photo that I used for Mr. Krabs here, uh, do check it out in the description. I have a link to that. Okay, second peak. And there you go. All right, uh, looking at it, I think we are finished. There you go, you guys. Let's zoom out. There's Mr. Krabs. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, a couple more 
SpongeBob SquarePants tutorials to come. Stay tuned. Take care. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website draw2.com where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.